So welcome to the course unit 10. Okay. Uh, the parole, community-based correction, and the topic for today is all about parole. So what is parole? Ano ba ang parole? It is the release of the prisoner from a prison after serving the minimum period of his indeterminate okay, sentence or the board of pardons and parole. Yan. The method of selectively releasing an offender from an institution prior to completion of his maximum sentence. So, subject to conditions specified but by the paroling authority, a method whereby society can be protected and the offender can be provided with continuing treatment and supervision in the community. So, parole is a freedom extended to incarcerated offenders or yung mga nakakulong na. Even before the expiration of his sentence, if the offender can show that he has been converted into a respectable law-abiding citizen. So, ano ang parole? It means, uh, this is a serve, uh, you will just uh, serve a minimum sentence and then you will continue the maximum sentence outside the prison. So, you will complete or the maximum sentence, you will complete the maximum sentence once you you encounter or you just serve your minimum sentence inside the prison. In short, kailangan makulong ka muna bago ka mag-undergo ng parole. Diba? So, for example, ang, ang tawag dito, ang penalty mo is 6 years to 12 years. So, considering na yung 6 years mo is your minimum sentence and the maximum penalty is 12 years, okay, ang mangyayari sa'yo, makukulong ka muna ng 6 years. After mo makulong ng 6 years, yung remaining 6 years to 12 years, yun ang ikakandak mo na parole. Continuation siya. Ang pinagkaiba niya kay probation, si probation kailangan wala ka mang kulong, ba? Hindi ka man makukulong sa loob ng kulungan. Kay parole, kailangan makulong ka muna ng at least minimum sentence mo or yung minimum period mo. So, what is the history of the parole system? The origin of parole can be associated with the work of number of individuals, individual to sa, who headed the prisons. They include Zebulon Brockway in the year 1867, Alexander Makanochi in the year of 1840, and Walter Crafton in the year of 1854. So, this is Alexander Makanochi, Zebulon Brockway, and Walter Crafton. So, kilalanin natin sila isa, isa So, Alexander Makanochi, he is the governor of Norfolk Island Prison. Conditional release made its first appearance in the ticket of lib system used in Australian penal colonies. So, he introduced the modern idea of parole in 1840. Yung ticket of lib system, uh, parang binibigyan ng ticket noon yung mga, tawag dito, yung mga prisoner para malang makalabas uh, within a certain period. Ganun lang siya. So, he developed a plan Mark to system. prepare, um, yes, the Mark system. He developed a plan to prepare them for eventual return to the society that involved three grades. Okay, first and second grade, promotions earned through good behavior, labor, and study. Ayan, parang yung um, nag-apply yung GCTA. Third grade, conditional liberty outside of prison while obeying rules. And a violation would return them to prison and repeat the three-grade process. So, again, Alexander Makonochi del siya ang pinaka nag-start nito sa kanya idea ng parole. He is considered as the father of parole. Then, next, we have Zebulon Brockway. Sino naman si Zebulon Brockway? Zebulon Brockway runs the Elmira Reformatory in New York. Si Elmira Reformatory, it is the modern penology. Okay? He is the forerunner of the modern penology system is the Elmira Reformatory. Elmira Reformatory, parang katumbas ito ng mga bilibid. Ganyan. Katumbas ito ng mga seven penal colonies natin dito sa bansa. So, he introduced the parole in the U.S. in the year 1876. And then, it was his way to reduce jail overcrowding at the same time as a way to rehabilitate prisoners by encouraging them to win their way out of prison through yan, good behavior with the result of supervision of criminal after serving part of jail term, allowed to live in the community under supervision, and... Violation of parole will result to re-imprisonment of the convict. Sa kanya yan, si Zebulon Brockway. So, si Zebulon Brockway, uh, meron kasi problema ng overcrowding nun within the U.S. Uh, penal system. So, ang ginawa niya, in-apply niya itong si parole. Okay? So, paano niya yon By having a good behavior. Ayan. 
Tapos, um, after that, magkakaroon ng good, be good behavior within the prison system sa supervision of criminal after serving part, sabi niya, kanwari, yung minimum part nga of the jail term. After nun, they will allow to live in the community under the supervision of parole. Ang ginawa naman ni Zobulon Brockway, the violation of parole, sabi niya, kapag, for example, oh, nag-grant sa'yo ang parole, kapag nag-violate ka ng rules nila, okay, magkakaroon ng re-imprisonment of the convict. So, therefore, babalik ka sa loob ng kulungan to serve your sentence again. So, that is Zebulon Brockway. Then, next, we have Walter Crafton. So, he is the governor of Irish prison. Diba? He introduced a prison structure whereby prisoners who arrive in jail were first put under strict imprisonment. So, the movement from strict imprisonment and then conditional release and finally freedom will depend on the amount of points pr prisoners would earn. So, he provided uh, prisoners with a chance to work in the community for a period of time prior to release. Offenders were allowed to work jobs in the community and still receive the benefit of certain progress available at an institution. Si Walter Crafter naman, siya sa Irish prison, siya head ng Irish prison nun. Okay, ang nangyari sa kanya, uh, ginagawa niya, ang ginagawa niya control doon sa mismong Irish prison ganito, yung mga bagong salta. Okay? Yung mga bagong saltang prisoner, ang ibibigay sa kanila is strict imprisonment. Therefore, parang red tag or parang red line. Ibig sabihin, napaka-strict ng rules and regulation nila. From strict, gagawin nila ng pababa ng pababa, pa-degrade ng pa-degrade. Habang, depende kasi, depende doon sa uh, good points na ma-earn nila. Okay, for example, good behavior sila doon. Uh, uh, Kinaccount yan, lahat ng mga... Di ba meron tayong GCTA na good conduct and time allowance? So, doon naman minamark nila yon Lahat ng good deeds nila hanggang sa mapupuntila sila sa conditional release and then finally freedom. Ganun ang ginawa ni Walter Crafton doon sa Irish prison. Kapag bagong salta ka, lahat ng pahirap na sa'yo. So, kapag nagpapahirap sa inyo yung uh, six-trick imprisonment, ang ginagawa sa inyo, binibilang lahat ng good deeds mo. Kapag yung good deeds na yon habang tumatagal, eh dumadami yung good deeds mo, pwede ka nalang ilagay sa conditional release or And finally, dun sa freedom na or malaya ka na. Okay po. He provided prisoners with a chance to work in the community for the period of time prior to release. So, bago siya, di ba nga, naalaw na sila dun sa condition ng release na tinatawag natin. Okay. So, inalaw niya na makapagtrabaho itong mga prisoners bago pa sila tuluyang ma-release or ma maging malaya. Sabi nga niya, offenders were allowed to work jobs in the community and still receive the benefit of certain programs available at institution. So, that is Walter Crafton, the governor of Irish prison. So, what are the advantages of parole ba? Diba? Ano ba ang advantages of parole? Behavioral aspect. Persons who undergo the parole process are less likely to re-offend to criminal behavior. So, syempre, dahil nakita nila yung importance nila that they have their second chance, Uh, nagka-count yung mga good conduct nila therefore magbabago ang behavior niyan di ba? kasi nga merong mga rule next, parole programs are designed to help offenders reintroduce themselves to the society once an offender has learned to behave in a way that is acceptable to society he is able to continue this behavior and survive di ba? successful parole programs decrease the recurrence of criminal behavior which is beneficial to both parolee and to the society as whole, well. di ba nga? Sabi ko nga sa inyo, they will live under the rules. Siyempre, siyempre, para magkaroon ng good conduct or maging qualified siya na magkaroon ng freedom, magiging mabait yan. Diba? Susundin niya lahat ng rules. Siyempre, once he learned to behave, diba, na acceptable within the society or acceptable within the norms of the society, therefore, diba, kung nagbago na siya, na-adapt niya yun, mahirap na siyang bumalik doon sa ganung pag-uugali noon. Okay. So, the successful of parole programs will not just only benefit the parolee, but also as the society as well. Ayan. Diba? Yun ang behavioral aspect. Nagbabago po yung mismong behavior ng ating mga criminal. Criminal behavior into law-abiding citizen. Next, we have economic aspect. Diba? Paroling a prisoner puts the person to the community, making him able to earn living to sustain himself, not only himself, but also his family. Ibig sabihin, the parolee is no longer dependent upon the government's financial aids. ba diba? kasi, na, pwede na siya magtrabaho sa labas eh. So therefore, uh, kumikita na siya with his own, na pwede niyang pantustos sa pamilya niya. Also, ba diba, 
solution din yon para hindi na siya maging pabigat sa gobyerno. Hindi na siya pinapakain or so much. That is economic aspect. And then we have also the incentive aspects. Yan. Giving prisoners a chance at parole is an incentive for them. Diba? Striving to reach parole means they are better, more well-behaved prisoners who are reaching for a goal. Diba? Participation in prison programs change their behavior and general outlook in life. They are able to see an end to their sentence. Ganyan. So, parang binibigyan mo sila ng um, incentives, di ba? O magkakandak ka na, uh, mag, mag, magkaroon ka lang ng good conduct or so what. There is a chance na uh, mag-grant ka ng parole, di ba? Meron ka mga incentive. And then, syempre, nakikita niya yung freedom nun, di ba? If binibigay mo sa kanya or ini-insight or sinisudus mo siya within that freedom, what will happen to that prisoner? Di ba? Makikita niya na there is a second chance, there is a second life after this Uh, prison term. Diba? Basta magbebehave lang ako ng ganto. So, that is incentive aspect. How can we distinguish now parole from probation? This is parole, this is probation. Paano natin sila madidistinguish? Kapag parole, decision of the parole board. This, this was granted when the parole board feels that a certain individual who has served his minimum term is responsible and can join the community under supervision. If violation is committed, parole will continue his sentence. Sino nga ang nagde-decide sa parole? Sino yung nag-grant sa parole? Anyone? Sino? Parole board po. Parole board or yung tinatawag natin sa Philippines ng Alen. BPP. Boards of Pardon and Parole. Yan, Boards of Pardons and Parole. Anong pinagkaiba niya kay probation? Si probation sino ba ang nag-grant? Court po. Court. Disibihin, decision of the judge. Yan. It was imposed by the judge as part of the sentence. If violation is committed, probationer will serve his original sentence. Sino yung malaking pinagkaiba niya? Sa parole, kapag nag-violate ka, okay, you will just continue your sentence. For example, uh, ang, ang sentence mo is 12 years. So, ang minimum term nun is 6 years, sabihin na natin. Kapag na-serve mo na yung 6 years, and then yung 6 years to 12 years mo is i-undergo mo ng parole, tapos nag-violate ka ng, uh, tawag ito, nag-violate ka ng isa sa mga rules and conditions mo, i-continue mo lang yun. You will just continue your sentence. Not unlike kay probation. Kay probation, kahit nag-undergo ka na ng 3 years probation, or 2 years probation, ganyan, tapos nag-violate ka ng isang rule sa kanila, automatically zero again. Kung 3 years ang, ang kaso mo, 3 years ka ulit magsaserve ng sentence. Nakitang pinagkaiba ng parole at probation yan. Okay? Parole, this was granted by the BPP, Boards of Pardons and Parole. Probation, this was granted by the court. Ano lang ang pinagkapareho lang nila? They are being supervised by the PPA. Parole and probation ad administration. Okay po ba tayo doon? Hello? Sino na susupervise? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Sino na susupervise sa both? PPA. Okay. So, distinguish parole naman within the conditional pardon. Kasi di ba, both of pardons and parole. Ano ang pinagkaiba ng conditional pardon? Parole and conditional pardon. Release from correctional institution but remains under the custody of the state. Sa conditional pardon, it can, ay wait lang, sa parole muna, can be re-imprisoned. Pero sa conditional pardon, ang ganito siya, it does not remain under the government custody. And his civil rights are restored to him wholly or in part according to the terms of pardon. Sa parole kasi, still, uh, ang custody niya is nasa state. Kung sino man ang humahawak sa kanya ng or sino man na nag-administer ng parole. Sa conditional pardon, ibibigay na sila ng rights mo dyan. Okay? Depende sa conditional man yan or absolute. Sa parole, you can be re-imprisoned. Sa conditional pardon, hindi po. Okay, next. Who may grant parole? Again, it is the, the Boards of Pardons and Parole. An agency under the Department of DOJ, that can grant parole to prisoners who have served the minimum of their sentence. Tanong, kailan po, when may a prisoner be granted of parole? Kailan? Whenever the BPP 
finds that there is a reasonable probability that if released, the prisoner will be law-abiding. Okay? Uh, and that his release will not be incompatible with the interest welfare of society. And when prisoner has released the serve, the minimum penalty of his or, his or her indeterminate sentence of imprisonment. So, therefore, kailangan... Um, so dito. Therefore, kailangan mo niyang iserve yung minimum sentence. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na lag, lag, lahat ng nag-serve ng minimum sentence is qualified po sa pag-grant ng parola. Sabi nga niya, um, the prisoner will be law-abiding. Okay? So, ganun. Kailangan, kaya doon pumapasok yung GCTA eh. Doon pumapasok yung mark system natin. Kasi titingnan muna nila if qualified ba siyang mag magkaroon ng parol. Okay po? Kasi kung kalwari magulo siya sa kulungan, di ba? Pasaway siya. Ano mangyayari? Igagrat ba sa kanya yung parol? Hindi. Depende po yan. So, eligibility for review of a parole case. Inmate is serving indeterminate sentence for the period of which exceeds of one year. Di ba? Inmate has already served the minimum period of the inter indeterminate sentence. Inmate's conviction is final and executory. In case that inmate has one or more co-accused who had been convicted, the director, warden, concerned shall forward their prison records and carpetas, jackets at the same time. Uh, kailangan ang conviction niya, final and executory niya. And then inmate has no pending case. And inmate is serving sentence in the national penitentiary unless confined of said inmate in a municipal, city, district, or provincial jail is justified. So, ayan. So, kailangan ang iyong uh, indeterminate sentence of uh, period mo is a uh, maximum that which exceeds one year. Okay po? Uh, pwede po bang mag-apply ng parole yung, for example, uh, two years lang or three years lang or four years lang ang kanyang term? Pwede po. Pwede. Okay? Pero, as much as possible, sigurado ang iaalaw nilang i-apply mo muna sa inyo is probation. Diba kapag ganyan? Pero pwede naman. Basta as much as possible, inmate is serving in determined sentence the maximum period of which exceeds one year. Basta exceeds ng one year, pwede ka nang mag-apply ng parole. Ang sentence mo ha. And then, you need to serve your minimum period. Yung minimum sentence period. Next week, ang, ang i-discuss ko sa inyo is RA4103, the indeterminate sentence law. Okay? So, yan yung mga eligibility. Next, or parang qualification kung paano ka mag-apply ng parole. So, disqualification of a parole case. Paano ka madidisqualified? Actually, parang pareho lang yan ng sa probation. Diba? In which convicted offenses of death penalty or life imprisonment, di ka pwedeng mag-apply ng parole. Yan. In which convicted of treason, yung mga corp conspiracy, proposal to commit treason or espionage, still bawal pong mag-apply. Basta national security, against national security ang yung... Uh, tawag dito, fundament, uh, fundamental state of law or and ag against the national security, bawal kang mag-apply ng parole. So, misprision of treason, rebellion, sedition, of, uh, sedition or kudeta, bawal yan. In mis convicted of piracy or mutiny of the high seas or Philippine waters, bawal ka din mag-apply. In mis who are habitual delinquents. Yan. Kapag habitual delinquents ay pasaway or paulit-ulit din na merong uh, maran siyang crime, that is, bawal kang mag-apply uh, mag ng parole. Inmates who escape from confinement or evaded sentence, yung mga tumakas na. Yan. Inmates who having been granted by conditional pardon by the President of the Philippines shall have violated any terms thereof. Ayan. And then, inmates whose maximum term of imprisonment does not exceed one year or those with definite sentence. For example, nine months lang, six months lang ang kanyang sentence, bawal ka mag-apply ng parole. In mis convicted of offenses punished with reclusion perpetua or whose sentence were reduced to reclusion perpetua by reason of RA 9346. In mis convicted for violations to the law of terrorism, plunder, and transnational crimes are not also allowed to apply for parole. So, what are the extraordinary circumstances for the board to consider before it shall recommend that to the president to grant the executive clemency? Ano ba yung mga extraordinary circumstances na to? The trial court or appellate court in its decision recommend the grant of executive clemency for the inmate. Or parang itong mga parole or pardon. 
Under the peculiar circumstances of the case, the penalty imposed is too harsh compared to the crime of the accused. Evidence which the court failed to consider before conviction which would have justified an acquittal of the accused. Inmates who were over 15 but under 18 years of age at the time of the commission of the offense can be, um, can be applied for executive clemency. Inmates who are 70 years old and above whose continued imprisonment is inimical to their health as recommended by the BUCOR, ba, and certified under the oath of the physician designated by the Depart Department of Health, pwede na rin po sa executive clemency. Inmates who suffer from serious contagious or life-threatening illness, for example, nakakahawa yung sakit niya or parang um, severe physical disability, mga kaawa-awa talaga, totally blind, paralyzed, bedridden, pwede nang mag-apply sa mga parole, pardon, or so whatever. And then, Alien inmates or yung mga foreign inmates where diplomatic considerations and amity among nations necessitate and review. Parang yung nangyari dun sa, yung sa military na pumatay dun sa isang, um... Uh, Bading! Oh, oh yun. Bading. Yung sa US Army, yung tapos na ano, ano bang binigay sa kanya? Pardon or parole? Amnesty. Pardon, man. Amnesty ba ang binigay sa kanya? Basta naging ano siya wow. ba viral? Bakit? Kung si Pemberton man. Oh, yon si Pemberton. Ayun. Nagkaroon kasi tayo, meron tayong diplomatic considerations with the US, di ba? And then um tawag dito, meron dun, merong nag-discuss na, madaming nag-discuss na lawyers na tama naman ang desisyon ni Duterte doon. Kasi tiningnan nila yung mga possibilities bakit ganoon. Tama naman ang desisyon ni Duterte doon and I agree with them. And then such other similar or analogous circumstances whenever the interest of justice will be served thereby. So again, these are just the what we call extraordinary circumstances for the board to consider before it shall recommend that the president to the grant of executive clemency. Sino yung board na tinatukoy dito? Sino board to? BPP, ma'am. Kasi ang ginagawa nito, okay, parole, pardons, amnesty, any others, a reprieve, ganyan, any other executive clemency, with, ano kasi yan, approval muna ni uh, President. Okay. Sino ang nag-approve, uh, uh, sino yung nagbibigay ng approval or recommendation kay President? Itong si BPP. Si Boards of Pardons and Parole. So, yan. So, minsan, merong mga circumstances na tatanggapin or gagawa ng recommendations itong si Boards of Pardons and Parole para ibigay kay President or i-recommend kay President. So, kapag nag-recommend itong si Boards of Pardons and Parole kay President, therefore, mag a lang itong si President once nakita niya na maganda ang kalalabasan kapag nag-grant siya ng executive clemency. Okay po, these are just only extraordinary circumstances or parang uh, maliban dito sa mga this, um, tawag dito, requirements, di ba? Yan, eligibility, qualified, gan ka, or uh, disqualified of the parole, uh, disqualification of the parole case. There is also what we call uh, extraordinary circumstances. Okay po. The Boards of Pardons and Parole. Okay. Under the provisions of Act Number 4103 as amendments, it is the functions of bar Boards of Pardons and Parole to uplift and redeem valuable human material to economic usefulness, to prevent unnecessary and ex excessive deprivation of personal liberty, by way of parole or through executive clemency. Ayan. It is under the Department of Justice. Composition. The board should be composed of secretary as chairman and six members consisting of administrator of the parole or the PPA, ex officio member, a sociologist, clergyman, an educator, a person with training, experience, correction in work, and a member of Philippine board, provided that one, is, that one of them is a woman, and members of the board shall be appointed by the president upon recommendation of the secretary and shall, the office, and shall hold the office of term of six years without prejudice to the appointment. Okay. So, ang head po ng board ng BPP ay tanatawag nating secretary. Okay. Ano nga ang uh, head ng PPA? Anong tawag sa head ng PPA? Administrator. 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 Okay. Ito yung uh, members ng uh, board. So, provided, isa sa mga dyan kailangan ay babae. Tanong, sino nag-a-appoint ng mga members nito? Si 
Sino na dapat? President. President. With recommendation of the Secretary. Secretary. Yung alin? Ng BPP. Sinong mag-ano, di ba? Yung mga members niya. Sino, sinong magre-recommend ng mga members niya? Yung mismong Secretary ng Board. Okay po. Duties and Responsibilities. Ano ba ang trabaho ng BPP? They look into the physical, mental, and moral records of the prisoners who are eligible to parole and determine the proper time of release such prisoners. Authorize release such prisoners on paroles upon such terms and conditions as therein prescribed and as may be prescribed by the board. Yan. Examine the records and thousands of the prisoners who shall have been convicted of any offense other than those named in Section 2 of Act 4103 and have been sentenced for more than one year uh, by the final judgment prior to the uh, effectivity of 4103. 4103. They make recommendations. Yung talaga ang trabaho nila. Siyempre, bago, nila, bago sila makandak ng recommendation, siyempre, aaralin muna nila kung sino mga prisoners na yan. Physical, mental, and moral records of that prisoner before they will come up into their recommendations. So, make recommendation in all such cases to the President with regards to the parole of such prisoners as they shall be deemed qualified for parole as they're in provided. After they shall serve a period of minimum, a period of imprisonment for not less than the minimum period for which may, they might have been sentenced under Act 4103. Again, Act 4103, it is the indeterminate sentence law. Okay? Indeterminate sentence law or tinatawag nilang uh, islaw. Islaw. Okay? Islaw. What are the powers and functions of BPP? Ayan. They authorize to adopt rules and regulations necessary to carry out its functions. Empowered to call upon any bureau, office, branch, super subdivision, agency, or government instrumentally for assistance in the performance of its functions. Decisions will be arrived at the majority vote. Ayan. Hindi naman yung kung sino nyo lang yung head, sila na, siya na yung mag-ano, siya na yung mag-desisyon. Uh, no, nagkakaroon sila ng voting. A quorum will be constituted a majority of all its, of all its members. The sent from the majority opinion will be reduced to writing and filed with the records of the proceeding. Nagkakaroon, kaya nga board, di ba? Nag, nagkakaroon muna ng uh, uh, voting dyan, pag-uusapan muna nila. Yun lang ang topic natin for today, di ba? Napakadali. So, I will just uh, ask some questions but to clarify. Okay po? Para lang mas nalun yung matandaan, ha? So, pwede ko nang tapusin muna itong recording. Tapusin muna itong recording. Yes, ma'am.